Hey Barney. Boo. Boo -ga -boo -ga -boo -ga. One of the subscribers to the channel was asking about how Combine soldiers are interrupted from their schedule. So if you're trying to set up a scripted scene and your player fires a gun, is there any way to stop the Combines from reacting to that gunfire? Typically NPCs, when they hear a noise, they will go from idle state to alert state. And you can tell by the change in posture of their bodies, they move their shoulders slightly and you can tell they've just gone from idle to alert and then from alert to combat. So I've loaded up a test map. I have a player spawn in the middle here. And then I've set up three components. I have two AI relationships and an AI scripted schedule. So the AI relationship here is just gonna make sure Barney's not gonna shoot me. So standard things we've done before. You, can, you don't need reciprocal for this because you know the other entity in the relationship is a player. So that shouldn't matter too much. This is just a holdover from the older maps that Barney likes Barney, we can ignore that. And now here's a scripted schedule where I'm going to tell the Barney in the scene to walk a specific path. This is pretty much how the AI scripted schedule looks by default. It walks goal path, it's interruptibility is general, and we're gonna look at how changing that changes how the NPC reacts to gunfire. Reacquire after break, which just means Hey, if something happens and the NPC breaks the schedule, then it's going to return to the schedule once it returns to idling. And the goal entity. So the goal entity here is Barney Path 1. And when you want NPCs to path throughout your level, you can set up these little blocks here. So these are called path corners. I can jump into the entities. I can grab a path corner and you can drop these onto the map and the path corner it's a very, very simple entity. I can name it. So in this case, it can be Barney's path one. And I can set the next stop in the path to Barney path two. That's going to tell him once the NPC arrives at this block, it's going to look for the next block. And as you lay these out and you set this field here to the next in the path, it's going to draw a line between so you can see where this path goes. So here I have a simple path that just follows around these crates and back around here. And each path corner in this path is just named the next number up. So just one ups each time. So path two, path three, then path four, and so on. So here's path four, path five, and it's just gonna take them all the way around here. Now what I'm gonna do is I can launch this up and you can see what happens to Barney when I fire my weapon near him. Here I am in the scene. Here's my Barney, and he's blue because I just figured out how to change their colors, and I thought that'd be fun. So, how you doing, Barney? Now, Barney's posture here tells me that he is either in idle or alert. He actually looks fairly idle. I set up a trigger in front of me. As soon as I cross that trigger, Barney's going to start walking his path. So let's just set him off. Okay, now check out his posture. He looks very idle. He looks very relaxed. His shoulders are straightened back. And he's walking along the path that I prescribed there. So that was point one, here's point two. He's gonna turn ahead to point three right away. And now I'm gonna try and scare him. So I'm gonna sneak up on Barney and... Okay, well, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Okay, so that set Barney off for a second. You see he got into a different stance, he got into an alert stance. And now he's resumed back to the schedule starting at the first point. So he's gonna go back to his first point and then he's gonna go back to an idle state. Now I can scare him again. See how he transitions? He felt like he was in danger, he looked around, there was no danger, he went back to idle. So now I wanna try and figure out, can I force Barney to ignore this gunshot so that he doesn't look at me when I shoot? So let's try that now. So let's start by looking at the AI scripted schedule here and seeing what we can change. So we have interruptibility. Now I'm gonna set the interruptibility to death, which hopefully means that he's not going to stop walking his goal path unless he gets killed. So let's start that up right away and see what happens. I always recommend changing things one at a time because you can do a quick build with building only entities. It doesn't hurt to modify one variable 
see how that works, and then modify another variable. Here we are back with Barney. I'm going to set him off the way to walk the same path he was walking before. Okay, so there he goes. We're going to walk along with him. Hey, buddy, let's go over here. And now I'm just going to shoot my gun and see what he does. Oh. He doesn't seem to care. Hold on a second. Ready? Hey, Barney. Boo! Booga booga booga! Okay. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be interrupted at all. So that seems to be one way you can stop the combined soldiers from reacting to gunfire. It's just by making sure that their schedule is only interruptible for when, when they die. Okay, now notice that the AI schedule was finished. He walked his entire path, he reached the end, and now when I fire my gun, because he's not involved in a schedule at that time, he does react. So he gets back to this, this nervous dance. He's like, you know, hey buddy, why, why are you doing this, right? He looks very nervous to me, and he also doesn't go back to idle. If he had been walking his schedule, and I had shot the gun near him like I did before, he actually transitions back to idle after he goes into alert and realizes there's no enemies there. So that was a really quick example of some pathing and how paths can be interrupted and how you can stop the pathing behavior from being interrupted if you're using AI scripted schedules. There are also scripted sequences, which I'm going to look at next. And scripted sequences are meant to allow you to set up a sequence between two NPCs, so like almost like a cutscene. And there's ways that those can be interrupted as well. And I'd like to explore how you can set those up so they can't be interrupted by the player character. So we'll look at that next. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.